Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Ink Sweet Ladies Place once again. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to sew the corset top. Today's project is the continuation of last week's project. So if you have not watched the video of how to cut the corset yet, please kindly check the link in the description box. So for this tutorial today, we'll be using wadding, regilene boning, and also my fabric. So let's get started. So the first thing is to cut, use my lining you know we already cut this on the lining piece last week so I'm going to use my lining to cut out the main fabric then after that I cut out a strip of fabric that measured one and a half inches by width the width is one and a half inches in no specific length all right, so the reason for this is just to use it to create a um, channel for my Regine pony. Then after that, I just fold it into two and then use my iron to press it down. So I'm going to be using this to create channel for my Regine pony. So after that, the next thing now is to cut out the wadding. First, I folded the wadding into two. Then after that, I fold it into four. Because we are adding this wording on the lining and also on the main fabric. So that's why it's folded into four. Then after that, I'll place the cupped part of the corset. I'm going to place it on the wording. One of number one and then one of number two. You know we labeled it. So left and right cup. You're going to just trace out the shape on the wording. Then after tracing the shape, you take it out. Then at the upper part of the cup, you're going to remove half inch because you don't want this wording to get to your same allowance on the upper part of the cup. Can we see that we have done it? So... After that, you just cut this out. So after cutting it out, don't forget to also put your notches so that you know the direction of the wooden. So I have four pieces on both sides of the cup now. This one I'm holding is into four pieces. And so is the other one. So the next thing you're going to be doing now is to... Use your iron to fuse this wadding on the fabric and also on the lining. Okay, so can you notice the half inch that I took out of the of the wadding? The reason for this is just to prevent the wadding from getting into the seam allowance on the upper part. Because if it gets there, it's going to affect the neckline. So that's the reason for reducing it at the upper part. Alright, so this is the total cutout for the corset. As it is on the lining, that's how it is on the main fabric. So this is the back. So you can see that's the back. And the back is into four pieces. Two on one side and two on the other side. It's divided by this zip allowance, you know. So first you take it and join the two sides together. You need to start your joining from the lower part so you sew it all the way up then you do the same thing to the other side so this is how it looks now as it is on the lining that's how it is on the main fabric like I said so you're going to join the main fabric so you join them together like so So after joining it together, the next thing you want to do now is to top stitch the dark line. So just push push the seam allowance to one side and then from the right side you top stitch. When you're done with the lining, you do the same thing to the main fabric. Alright, so moving on, this is the front part and this is the center front. And then that's the side front. And that's the second side front. So 
So the next thing you want to do now is to place the side front on the center front. Then you're going to sew it on the dart line. You're done with one side, you repeat the same thing to the other side. So this is how it looks. We've joined the center and the side fronts together. So the next thing you want to do now is to create channel for your regenerating bowling. So just place the strip for fabric. You know, we already used iron to fold this strip for fabric into two. So just place it on the dart and then you stitch it on it like quarter inch before the dart line. So you stitch it on it like I'm doing now. Then after that, you can see the way it is, you flip it to the other side like so. Then you top stitch. So after top station it, you cut off the SS just like so. Then you're going to put it on the center front. So just place it quarter inch before the center front and then you stitch it on it. Don't forget this strip of fabric is folded into two. You use iron to fold it into two then after that again you flip it and then you top stitch and that is done you repeat it on the second that as well so this is how it's looking I'm done making the channels and this is how it looks from the back and this is the right side then you are going to join the lining. The only difference is that you are not going to be creating Chanel on the lining piece. So just join the linings together. So we are going to be joining the cups together now. You can see this is how the cup is looking. This is one side and this is the other side of the cup. You can see we have two cups. So, just match them on top of each other, right side to right side, and then you're going to stitch it. So, I'm done joining one of the cup. So, you can see the way it's looking. So the next thing you want to do is just to notch it. You need to notch your dart line so, so that the curve can come out nicely. So you keep that aside and also join the other side. Don't forget we are joining these dart lines with half inch seam allowance. I'm done joining the second cup. You can see the way it's looking. And that's the second cup. So the next thing you want to do now is to repeat the same step on the lining piece. Then after that, you iron it. First, open up your darts and then you use your ball to iron the cup. You iron it nicely. So when all of that is done, the next thing you want to do is to attach the cup to the lower part of the corset. So what you're going to do is to match the dart line of the cup with the dart line on the corset. So first you pin it together. So that the line can align. 
then from there now you stitch it together and you're done with this side you turn it and then you stitch it to the other side so you turn it now and you stitch it to the other side All right, so I'm done attaching the cup on one side. You can see the way it is. So you repeat the same thing to the second cup. Match the same allowance together. And then you sew to the right and also to the left. So I'm done attaching the cups. So the next thing you want to do now is to insert your regine boning. So then, but you know this upper part, you need to measure half inch downward. You measure half inch downward, then you just turn your uh, machine to the longest stitch and then just make a temporary stitch there so that you can prevent the boning from getting into your seam allowance so measure one inch down and stitch it so that that chanel can close at that point so that the reddening boning will not enter into your seam allowance on the upper part so if you like you can still create more channels for your corset you can create any design of your choice if you don't want it to be just three pieces for the channel you can do like the way i'm showing you now you can still put another one there you can decide um, how you want it all right so the next thing now is to just use my regine bony to measure down from that half inch below the neckline yes you measure it all the way down to the waistline stopping half inch before you get the, to the waistline because i'm still going to be attaching peplum to this corset so you don't want it to get into the same line on the waistline as well so from the underbust on the cup, you measure all the way, stopping half inch before you get to the waistline. Then you cut it out. You can just use this now to cut out for the other one because they are the same size. So that's it. And make sure you follow the direction of the cuff of the regilin bony while inserting it into the channel. It's very important. So I can relax nicely on your body. Then after that, just use your cello tape, your paper tape to wrap the edge of the boning so that the boning will not be poking you. So just wrap the paper tape on the sharp edges and wrap it nicely you can see the way it is so you repeat the same thing to all the mouth of the regular bony that you cut out so when you're done preparing your bony the next thing is just to insert it into the channel so just slide it through inside the channel like so So I'm done inserting the boning into the channels. So the next thing now is to join the back and front together. So locate the side of your back panel, match it with the side of the front, and then you join it with your seam allowance. You may need to confirm your measurements before joining these two pieces together. So... I'm joining mine with one inch seam allowance. You remember I added one and a half inches allowance to my pattern. And I already used half to join all the dots together. So that's why I'm joining this side with one inch seam allowance. So at this stage, 
I needed to be sure my measurements are accurate. So I confirm my measurements and everything is in order. So the next thing is to proceed to the lining. So I've joined the back and front together on the lining as well. You can see that the line for the dart are on the same line. And then I've joined the sides together. So what I'm going to do next now is to use this lining to turn the main fabric. So you match them together, right side to right side. The right side of the lining will be facing the right side of the main fabric. And then you make sure you pin them on their darts. Make sure the darts are on the same line. Everything just needs to align properly. If not, you will not get it right. So just take your time, align it properly before you proceed to station it together. So I started joining it together from the zip allowance, as you can see. Then when I get to the top, I will join the top together and then back to the zip allowance. Then after that, I notched it. I left the waistline open because I'm going to be attaching peplum to it. So the next thing you want to do now is to top stitch it at the upper part so that the neckline can relax properly. So push all your seam allowance to the lining side and then you top stitch. So the next thing you want to do after top stitching now is to iron it down. So just iron it so that the neckline can relax. And at the cup part, you are going to be using ball to iron the cup part. So just place your ball inside the cup part and you iron it. All right, so this is how it's looking. It's looking so beautiful already. So the next thing I'm going to be doing off cam now is to attach my peplum. So this is our corset. Our corset is ready. So I'm going to be attaching my peplum to it and I'm going to show you how it looks on me. All right, so I'm done attaching my peplum. I like the fits. It fits so beautifully well. I like it. The only thing is I can't wear this out as a tube. So I just had to attach sleeve to it. So I use my yoke to cut out my sleeve. So I just measure the length of my yoke. You know, not from the allowance on the shoulder, but rather from the exact shoulder. I measure it all the way down. And here I have 6.5 inches. If you remember, we cut this yoke out while cutting the, the corset. If you have not watched that video, please watch it so that you understand it. So here I have 6.5 inches and that's what I'm going to be using to cut out the sleeve. So here I'm using the same fabric I used to create the Chanel to cut out the sleeve. Alright, so the fabric is folded into two, then again I fold it into four. Then afterwards, I fold it into eight. Can you see the way I folded it? So this fabric is folded into eight pieces. And the length is five inches. The length is five inches. Then the width is six and a half inches. The length of our yoke. Then I added half inch to it, making seven. So the width is seven inches. The length of the yoke is six and a half plus half inch seam allowance. That is seven. So the width is seven. Like I said, it's, the length is five inches.
so from from here to ear is five inches while from ear to ear is seven then at this side i just measure two inches i measure two inches down from that point then i just slant it together then after that i cut it out so after cutting it out the next thing is to stitch it together if you open it up you will have four pieces of this sleeve so i i i use one to line the other so i'll, I'll take two and first stitch it together first you see the way I'm, I'm, I'm stitching it you stitch the upper part then after that you skip that two inches opening that is where you are going to use to turn it then you stitch the lower part together so basically you're stitching the upper part and the lower part so the next thing now is to bring it out from the two inches opening you need the two inches opening is two sides so you just bring it out to the right side from that opening and you do the same thing to the second sleeve after that you iron it so the next thing now is to attach this sleeve to the corset all right so this is my side seam you can see so i'm going to start as touching this from my dart line so i'll just place it on the back okay you place it on the back first right side to right side and then you're going to just stitch it on it and i'm starting from the dart line so after attaching it you attach it to the front as well on your dart line you can see this is my dart line i started from that point and then i'm attaching it like so so don't forget after attaching it you just flip it upward and then you top stitch on the right side so that it can be neat so you just top stitch it like so you can see the way i've done it so you repeat the same thing to the second side this sleeve is optional as you can see you can wear your tube if you want but i don't like opening my body so that's why i just attach this small sleeve so i can be able to show you my face very well <laughs> so that's it our corset is ready if you recruit this kindly send this to me on whatsapp or on our facebook page and also if you have any question kindly leave it in the comment section you know i will definitely answer your question and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please kindly do that i'll see you in my next tutorial bye